This is just a routine checkup, Gaia. Remember that. You have reminded me of this about nine times now, Doctor. Well, I like to be furrow. I am very well acquainted with this fact. I know, just... Damn, androids. Could you not sound so sarcastic? I unfortunately have not spent enough time around humans to learn how to, as you put it, not sound so sarcastic. Ugh. Just don't scare the patient. I had no intentions to do so, Doctor. Hello, I'm Dr. Lincoln. This is Gaia, my assistant. Hello there. Yeah, she's an android. But she's nothing like the ones you've heard about on TV. She's not gonna hurt you. I know that I may seem intimidating, but I can assure you that by hurting you, I would be going against the Hippocratic Oath, and I have no desire to cause harm to innocents, such as yourself. You don't have to confuse them, Gaia. They do not seem confused, Dr. Lincoln. Rather, they seem to be nervous. Damn machines. Just get their vitals. May I see your wrist for a moment? Do not worry. I just need to take your vitals. It will only take a moment. Everything looks normal, except for the slightly elevated heart rate. I did mention the possibility of them being nervous. Well, I did say they had no reason to. You're not gonna hurt them after all. You did say that, but it is possible they need more than just reassurance. Well, you don't even have the MM in your core. It's not like you'd know how to be violent anyway. The MM is also known as the military modifier. Basically, it's a chip in the core that gives androids a need to defend the innocent. In reality, it's what causes these damn things to go haywire. And I have the MDM, or the medical modifier. I was built to help doctors like Dr. Lincoln get more accurate readings on patients and, by extension, help them live healthier and happier lives. See? You have nothing to be scared of. You are not afraid of me? Then what are you afraid of? This place? You mean the office in general? It is not uncommon to be afraid of the doctor's office. There is a possibility they have trauma from going to the doctor's office that led to them developing this fear. I know how fear works, Gaia. Well, you don't have anything to fear. I know that Gaia doesn't want to hurt you. I most definitely don't want to hurt you. And it looks like you're not due for any vaccinations, so you don't have to worry about that. Yes, this is a safe place. From what I can tell, you haven't been coming here for very long, so I can only assume you had issues with your previous primary care provider. I assure you that so long as you are here, you will receive the best care and be treated with the utmost respect. You have nothing to worry about so long as you are under the care of Dr. Lincoln and myself. Or anyone here, for that matter. Gaia, how's their heart rate? It is still elevated. Hmm. Tell you what. How about we take the time to learn about you and your needs so that we can help you be a bit more comfortable here? If you would like, I could also authorize someone to be here with you for your appointments so they can sit with you or hold your hand. Why wouldn't we be nice to you? You came to us for care, and that's what we're going to provide you. I do not know what you went through at your previous care provider, but we will not make those same mistakes. You are safe with us. She's right. So, if you're comfortable telling us what happened at your old doctor's office. Well, that was a trip and a half. I agree. That was the first time I met a patient with trauma surrounding doctors. I must admit, I did not expect to see that. Well, I did some digging around the office they came from. Turns out, they're infamous for malpractice and experimental shit. Yes, I saw that myself. Why are they still in operation? 
I'm not sure, but I have a feeling we'll be seeing more of their former patients. Do you wish for me to get a list of them to have on file so we can be better prepared? I don't think we're allowed to do that. Besides, that would take forever and might short-circuit your brain. <laughs> I am quite sure that would not short-circuit me, but I appreciate the concern. That was a... <sighs> Never mind. Hey, why don't you see the next patients first? I have to get the last one's file sorted out and that might take a minute. And you seem to know the routine fairly well, so you should be fine. I will take care of it, Doctor. Thank you for trusting me. Yeah, yeah. Just don't scare the poor thing. As I have said many times, I do not intend to. <laughs>